Hi, I want to start this presentation out by thanking Dr. Stefanski for being awesome. I have learned so much. Um, this was my first semester back after several years of being in the classroom um, and my first EDU class. So I have learned a lot and I can't wait to apply that in my current classroom and in my own classroom in the future. So I first want to talk about what led me to teaching. Um, I'm an LPN. I'm a school nurse. COVID shut us down and I had a lot of time to think. So um, I started thinking about what I love most about nursing. And I realized that what I love most about nursing was teaching. So um, I decided to go ahead and pursue that. And here I am today. And I'm excited about what the future holds. So the main takeaways from um, EDU 150, the first, um, I learned a lot about mindset theory, Carol Dweck's mindset theory. Um, she's the learning theorist that I chose to do my presentation on, and I'm excited to utilize her growth mindset theory in the um, future. The biggest thing that I thought would work in the classroom was her uh, praise the process, don't praise the result. So there's a lot of kids that struggle and work hard, and maybe they don't end up with an A or a B, but they still worked hard. And so this year in my classroom, I'm definitely going to be using that process praise and see how it goes. Um, next, we talked about teacher center centered learning versus student centered learning and I am definitely a student centered learning advocate. I love it. I thrive on on chaos and I want the kids to have fun. So and I think it, with my experience is if I'm hands on and I'm talking to my peers, I learn a lot more than just sitting and listening to somebody give a lecture. Also, uh, the diversity project had a huge impact on me. I work in a very low income um, school, and I would say 75% of my students currently are uh, of low socioeconomic status. I learned stress signals to look for and how to address them and how I can help. So um, definitely gonna be utilizing the things I learned from the Diversity Project uh, this year and in the future. Also, the implicit bias test. Oh my goodness, I was so shocked by my results, but I think it's so good and we need to use that knowledge um, to improve. Um, I think I mentioned during the discussion board that I think knowledge is power and this is definitely um, well, the implicit bias test definitely will give us power because it will teach us to look for our biases and it'll help us be better educators. Finally, the inspiration um, part of this course. So there were so many things that I found inspirational. But I really think that Good Morning Miss Tolliver was probably the most inspirational. I watched the video. It gave me tears in my eyes because she is awesome. She found the perfect combination of caring, discipline, and creativeness. And her students loved that. And they learned. So I strive to become more like Miss Tolliver. Um, and encompassed all of these qualities in my future teaching career. Once again, thank you so much, Dr. Stefanski. I've learned a lot. Hopefully this video was better than the previous ones because you've also taught me how to do a better presentation. Um, thanks so much and have a good day.